Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, behind me is a big vast of land. This is a two hectare property and this is for sale actually. This is owned by different owners and I am so hopeful that we can buy this property in order for us to extend the farm right here beside the house. And it's been my principle that if you delight yourself in the Lord, He will give you the desires of your heart. And this is what inspires me a lot. If we will just know how to give credit to God, we will honor Him and we will do what He commands, then He will give us the desires of our hearts according to His will and purpose. And you will see that the vastness of this property, which is around two hectares, is really very suitable now for an ecotourism park and that's my desire to take care of animals where people can just go inside and you know appreciate our animals it's really my desire today i'm going to make an update to you about what is happening here at the house actually we have already started fabricating the case for our cockatiel and also we were able to complete the materials that is needed we painted this one our staff had been so busy because this is going to be a beautiful aviary that we will provide for our cockatiels. Just this morning, we were able to breed our catfish once more. And then we already have successful growth of our aquaponics. And then our greenhouse had been doing well. I have sold so many of these lettuce. And then the quails are now increasing their production of the eggs. Just this morning, we were able to gather some two trays, that's 60 pieces of eggs. So this is a milestone because these quails are beginning to massively produce eggs. So come on, let's tour you around and I will let you see also my garden. We have flowers here and this is my desire really to beautify this place, to invite people to come here and appreciate the beauty of nature. So come on, let's tour you around. Come on, be with me guys. So these flowers are the ones that make me very busy during the day, especially during early in the morning because I personally water them and you will see now that they are growing. They have already adjusted to this new environment. Some of them died, but majority of them have survived. And they are all here. This is the garden that we have here in the house. And you will see that over here, we use this as our perimeter fence. Maybe we can transfer them if we can extend the property over there but uh, these are the future plans that still we have to to know if we can uh, accomplish this and you will see the flowers right here i have this talisai tree i thought it was already dead but it's uh, now reviving you see this uh, beautiful leaves sprouting now and over there is our gazebo you will see our gazebo and our greenhouse come on let's go over here by the way, we have also here flowers. And of course, these are the lettuce that are remnants of what have we, you know, sold yesterday. I already have disposed 50% of them. And uh, these lettuce are still very fresh to eat. Wow, you see that? <laughs> very beautiful lettuce and i am set to bring this to the office today because there are so many orders and over here is another batch of lettuce and over there we have seedlings uh we are due to transfer also the seedlings i have so many seedlings right here and our seedling tray and uh it's uh, doing well actually and i'm so happy that Someone has taught us on how to do all these things. The JNG's uh, backyard lettuce, you can browse his channel. And everything is doing well. And you will see that our aquaponics also with, you know, this uh, water spinach are thriving. You will see. I'm very excited about this because I really don't know if this will work. But this water spinach are sprouting and they are already now about to be harvested. You will see here, I use the water of the the catfish and i believe that the water of the catfish has this nutrients that can grow plants you will see here 
over there is the first batch of our water spinach I will push this so that you will see Wow and we are about to harvest this one I use the styrofoam to grow our water spinach see that that's the aquaponic thing that we're talking about we use the water here to grow our water spinach well this is a miracle for me how they grow in this uh, very small and limited space you will see the roots are coming out and uh, one of you said will this catfish not eat the roots i don't know they're eating maybe but they are sprouting they are growing and uh, it's a success so i can conclude that if you will really think of ways on how to improve how to augment their income then all the things will of course uh, follow of course with the guidance of god we can always find ways on how to improve ourselves and this is an encouragement to you and you will see now the actual breeding of the catfish you will see that they are chasing just this stone we were able to have a short film on the activity of the catfish or breeders and you will see right there that they are still breeding come on let's go over there at the back of the house i'm very happy to let you know that this breeding of this catfish had been so successful and you will be surprised that there are so many ways on how to breed our catfish and in fact this one is the method that I have adopted with uh, the Japanese koi <laughs> see come on come on over here wow it's so beautiful beautiful day you see over there I will not disturb them this is the actual breeding of the catfish and you will see them that they're chasing and they are putting all their eggs at the threads that I have provided for them and they are chasing there are a lot of chasing that will happen and uh, they have started laying their eggs just this morning at five o'clock dawn and I'm so happy because this is again another milestone another system that we have adopted I've shared with you so many ways on how to breed this one the artificial and even the natural but this natural breeding is really very easy compared to you know adapting the the modern or this artificial way if they can be bred naturally of course why not breed them naturally and this we are adapting right now and we have now so many catfish and uh, right there i will let you see about the the improvements of our quail well yesterday afternoon as what i have mentioned we were able to gather some 60 eggs of this uh, quails and we are putting all these eggs inside in the incubator to produce plenty of chicks and our desire for this year is to be able to raise some three four five thousand quail layers because as what i have mentioned in the previous videos that these department stores are now beginning to become very interested for our supply of eggs of the quails the ducks and even the meats of the chickens so i will first concentrate on the production of the eggs of the quails because there's very easy thing to do and uh, i'm so encouraged because uh, you are watching always and i'm also very thankful because more and more people have now decided to join in this dexter's world family well you were asking how to join you can just click the icon meaning my picture on youtube and then you will reach into this dashboard and then at the lower portion there is the word join you can click and then you can join the dexter's world family aside from being a subscriber you can also be a member of the family and uh, it has a minimal fee of course but uh, i would like to tell you that this will not go to my pocket this will go to the regular beneficiaries of our channel
So this is the small aviary for our cockatiel and uh, we are targeting to finish this now because our cockatiels have already laid eggs and uh, I was told that there was one pair that have laid eggs and because we don't provide the nest box the egg was just uh, broken so this fueled me to really fast track the construction of this aviary for our cockatiels and you will see that this is our old fish pond. We used to breed our Japanese koi here and raise them. But I converted this as our, you know, cage for our cockatiel. And beside here is the, the place of our Japanese koi. And we are going to finish this today. I'm so sure of that. And I hope that we can transfer this on Wednesday or Thursday, maybe two, three days from now. And I'm also very eager to see the babies of this cockatiel because they are so adorable also. They can be tamed and they can be hunted. And uh, my dream also in the future is to release, you know, naturally. This uh, birds can just uh, live naturally here. That's why I'm so hopeful that this is going to be materialized because this is really my passion. This is my hobby. So these are the materials actually that we have used and uh, the steel matting is really very best for cages of our birds only that we have to of course uh, put additional tie wire over here so that our cockatiel will not go out and this can also be used for the African lovebirds and uh, we painted this because if we will not paint this one of course this will become easily rotten because the rats the rust will really eat up all these metals so the idea is to put some anti-rust paint and this is it now and this will actually last long for years and also i am so happy that we were able also to contact some persons to do this for us in our country the philippines there are many talented persons but they are so busy we cannot just easily get their time that is why i I'm so thankful that we were able to contact some expert on the ironworks and they were able to spare their time for us. Last time we made a video about how to gender our quails and it's really a very informative video. I know that if you're keen enough to observe the quails at day old, you can immediately distinguish which is the male and the female and now the layers have already become adults actually they will start laying eggs amazingly at uh, two months and this is now the realization of our goal to be able to produce many layers so that we can produce eggs and supply this in the market and this has been our our business before and it was just stopped because of the pandemic and we are reviving it now through your request we're reviving it and we're sharing everything that is helpful about those uh, persons who also wanted to start up with this uh, new business. So these are the things that we can share with you so far. I hope you will be encouraged and uh, you will also continue to like and share our videos and uh, shout out to our new members to this channel who have joined this uh, family and uh, I would like to thank you for all your support and please don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that you will be notified of our regular uploads every two days actually only here at Dexter's World!